without continuously recording something. Okay, Justin? Got that on camera? Good. But yes, <laughs> I am that good with Microsoft PowerPoint that it was actually worth my money that instead of paying $30 for Photoshop, I paid $200 for Microsoft PowerPoint. It is actually just because I have that many years of experience with Microsoft PowerPoint. I made a 1,004 page meme comic with that, okay? That I am... How long did that take you? Six months oh and a bit. My God. It was about Google Plus as well, so only 100 people get it. But those 100 people kind of enjoyed it. Kind of? Out of that 100 people, that only like 40% like it. It's got 106 views, okay? That makes it my 50th most popular video. It's also multimedia. I spent a long time editing the video segments of that comic. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I spent $200 on Microsoft PowerPoint. Could have bought a car with that money. Yeah, probably could. Um, I, I little, you know the car I told you I was going to buy? Yeah. $600. Okay, so either three Microsoft PowerPoints or a small car. That was the fancy it's not speakers. A, it's, not, it's not not this car. That car was three grand. All oh, right, right. That car is almost brand new. That right. car is three grand. Medium sized car. It's a uh, Holden Commodore. <laughs> or probably the most popular <laughs> car in the entire state, possibly the entire country. One in which I'm pretty sure half the people on Discord who are from Western Australia have as their profile picture. I could have bought that, bought that, and become. A national, a, a state icon, as popular as Mark McGowan with the boys, <laughs> but instead I bought, I could, I, instead I could have bought, you know, three versions of Microsoft PowerPoint for non-students. You know, in hindsight, you, I could have, you, I could have really just <laughs> asked you for your school email address and got Microsoft PowerPoint for free. <laughs> I could have done that. Free for Or you could year. you could ask me for my like actual power my actual Microsoft Studio stuff that I use that I pay for that I can have two accounts on two different PCs. Or I could do that. I, we could share it like a Netflix account <laughs> instead of paying two hundred dollars. Anyway, <laughs> see this is what happens when you leave it on continuously. You get gold. <laughs> you why do you think people watch live streams? I don't know, I don't watch them myself, but I assume that's why. What are you looking at? Camera? I don't like your one eye, it reminds me of those elite soldiers from Half-Life 2. That's a good thing, because the place is often prone to political takeovers by stray dogs. I think, I think that's a stray dog right now coming in to assassinate me before I, I, I speak to my mind too much, you know. Trying to give me the old dismissal, you know, like Whitlam. Yeah. The dogs think I'm trying to do what Whitlam tried to do and denounce him for bombing a country that, you know, wasn't part of a war and probably doesn't even exist. Anyway, anyway! <coughs> After this, I would like to get a shot of you in the background. It's a kind, of, kind of like a thumbnail kind of thing. Like maybe you can put it as a uh, collage of pictures. Get that thumbnail face going. Well, we could do that if you really want to. <laughs> I do love that idea, but nah. Actually, I haven't put a thumbnail in the last two videos. It's mind. most vulnerable mini bus tires. Yes. Mini bus tires. Oh, yes, the they are, <laughs> you know, just like, you know, America's stupid. They think that the, the most strategic resource in, on Earth is, like, oil that they can use, like, for fuel and shit, like, which, you know, renewables and stuff's going to replace that, which is why it's being delayed so much, because oil's a strategic resource, you know. No, they don't understand. Minibus tires are the most important strategic resource. Oh, that's a funny thing. Which actually, yeah, yeah. We, we, um, we went to Sandy Creek on Sunday. Very when I there, was, there. there were two um, little mini buses that were bogged in the sand, mm -hmm. and one of them's tires actually got shredded because we tried pulling it out and it just fucking got shredded on the rocks. <laughs> so like, yeah, it, it was fun. Like we got afterwards, but you know, 
No, they, that's great. But they were hippies, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they wouldn't care. But, you know, I actually think, actually, oil is an important strategic resource because you need it to make tyres. Probably. I don't know how tyres are made. Can you stand still for, like, three seconds or four? That took a long time. So it's gonna be... yeah. But let's go. Let's go. I like it how you're wearing your pizza shirt. Yeah, you got to wear it in every video. Because <laughs> I, I lost I lost my little clay balloon that I had in my first two videos. Oh, no. And I was going to have that be my little video symbol. But it ended up not being, so I'm just wearing this shirt every video now. Oh, so, no. Yep, this is my new icon. A shirt from a fandom I am not very involved in anymore. Do you beat that vibe? I wouldn't be surprised if one day dogs take the entirety of East Newman over and Lynn Craigie's got to you know, pick up that red telephone and go, you know that red telephone in Portal? Oh uh, no. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Lynn Craigie has to pick up that red telephone. You realize that, that red telephone's only been in like the first Portal game? Yeah, and it wasn't even mentioned. No, it's just It was, it was just a prop. <laughs> it was just there. It's just a prop that I only remember the existence of because I played through Portal Director's commentary. like. Yeah, uh, yes, we like to add little details like this red phone here. We like to imagine that uh, uh, they would have used this in case, um, you know, GLaDOS turned evil um, and they didn't manage to uh, pick it up in time for the neurotoxin or whatever. Fuck, I love, I love Portal. And I love Half-Life more, but Portal's great. I haven't played Half-Life in years. Uh, I think I last played... Yeah, I haven't played in years. I think Half-Life 2 was the last one I played. We should play Half-Life again. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, like, next video, guys, come right. I'm gonna play half Yeah, fun. do some like gaming, gaming like <laughs> gaming videos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that was how my meme channel originally started. Okay, I don't know about you, but like, if they, if there's a people, if there's anybody who watch your videos who has OCD, they're gonna be so annoyed with you with this like backdrop because like there's so many photos just on the left side that are so wonky. <laughs> 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 so if you have people with OCD, they'd just be like, why it? Why? <laughs> uh, all the dislikes and angry comments will increase user engagement. It, it's a big pro gamer move. Well, technically, it's pro filmer move, but I'm gaming the system, am I not? Well, the system's playing you hard, but you know, whatever, whatever you take, whatever your take is on it. <laughs> yeah, I like having a bit of playing done to me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh... <laughs> Scroll up one more line. I'll stream more lines, but I'll take. Well, you can't exactly just scroll up a single line. It's zoomed in. <laughs> well, just have yeah, yeah, better you scrolling skills, Justin. <laughs> Get reading like aren't you meant to be a pro gamer? Aren't you, don't pro gamers scroll and shit? I don't know. I haven't played a game in years. I'm not a pro gamer. I'm a filmmaker and <laughs> photographer. Well, I've seen you play your... Yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty with me online once. Yeah, and who died constantly. <laughs> well, technically that was the controller's Everyone, fault, Everyone died constantly, I was just the best at it. <laughs> well, it didn't help that the controller was kind of glitchy at some point. Was it? Yeah, but we, we, we switched controllers halfway through and you still died. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> uh, it's just you joined in a couple times as well. <laughs> Five rolls of it to cover the entire town. Just, I want to see what that looks like. Who's this? That is, um, a piece of plastic. No, but whose is it? I don't know. I want it. Has it got anything written in it? A phone number. A singular phone number. Get rid of that piece of paper and your shoes, probably. Easy take, easy point to take notes. Yes. Well, you, you do technically have eight minutes before the video cuts out, so you might want to do something snazzy. Jazz hands are snazzy! <laughs> Jazz hands! <laughs> yeah, I saw that on Ooh. the Facebook group. Oh, speaking of response time. They must be trying to arrest me for defamation. Except they haven't actually defamed anyone yet. Defame? Defamation is not just someone, it's something also. Yes, I have defamed East Pilbara. <laughs> By making okay. people aware of its existence, it has been defamed. Well, because... technically you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Technically speaking. Oh, get ready, get ready for this pun. What's that? Charge. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> if you're a new man to this, just take move like slightly. Yeah. Mm. 
Well, East Newman's most famous art installation, displayed as broken glass bottles and ripped apart cardboard crates. Footage soon to come. Yes, this is where the, the, the skit's going to come on and then I'm going to go back to talking. <laughs> yeah, that's my director's commentary. Yes, this is how I'm going to do it here. You know, I'm going to do it here. I forgot that you can edit videos, because the only videos I've been making are reviews for Red Roosters in various parts of the state. You haven't even been to various parts of the state. Yes, I have. I reviewed the Red Rooster in Jolton, the Hunger Jacks in Jolton, the Red Anything? Rooster in Rockingham, and the Red Rooster in the Perth CBD. Okay. Have you been to anywhere... Halfway through the CBD one, someone asked me for some cigarettes. And then I continued their interview like a champ. Okay, so like... Someone you, with integrity. Have you been to like, like south ways of Perth? Like down more? Mandra? Like Mandra way, yeah. That's where my aunt lives, so that's where I was staying. Okay, yeah. any lower than that? I think if you go any lower, um, you would be Plus, outside of Perth. Yeah, no, outside of Perth, but like, various parts of the state doesn't just mean like three places, Newman, Joe. That is Perth. various parts of the state. I'm pretty sure most people consider you, Perth to be the only part of the state. Well, you, you could go to like, Carath or whatever. Yeah, I haven't been there in years, man. I've, do I've been trip. down south once, and that was for Levers, <clears throat> and I don't remember what I ate there. I don't think I had Red Rooster. I think I had KFC and McDonald's. McDoodles. McDoodles. <laughs> McDoodle. McDoodles. Do you go to review a chicken treat at the chicken tree here at some point? So maybe we can do that another time. Yeah, I'm not filming in this shop. <laughs> and actually, you have no bravery. I filmed in the Perth Central Business District during fucking peak hour clubbing do, time. It's not to do with like bravery, it's just like I don't wanna get sued. <laughs> Sued by who? Who's going to sue you? Well, company... That chicken treat is literally the most nice-looking place in this entire town. I know. It's got a giant photograph. But if you're going to do a review about it... <laughs> it's chicken treat. It's literally... They just put cocaine in there. How, how's that defamation? <laughs> Why do you think I keep scratching my face like that? It's all, it's all the fucking coke in the chicken wraps, eh? Fucking coke in the roll, bro. That's a very classic in intro. You look like Gabe Newell. Huh? No, wait, is that who he is? Gabe Newell? Is that the guy on Steam? Bro, I was about to say, you look gay. I'm just like, yeah, get to it. <laughs> now, how many minutes we got left on that one? Well, currently, you are on 22 minutes, so make the most of it. I'm gonna go outside first one. Don't lock the door, I'm gonna lock you out of the car and you walk. <laughs> yeah, and leave the door open. <laughs> what if somebody comes and trusts me? That's stupid. Ah, special guest, you know. We'll just uh, <laughs> Pornhub profits. <laughs> Pornhub profits. Yeah, silver was... lining to everything. It was academic because it involved words and reading stuff like the terms and conditions. I did not read. Well, do you keep in mind um, the battery? So it's well. On. It's already recording. To you. Sweet. Put up the the dock on the go, crown the ground. Yay! I would start here. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> because I don't know how much was cut out by the time it stopped recording. Neither do I. Future girlfriend, I hope. What do you want a flat girlfriend? I like flat. Unless it's tires. I don't like flat tires. Saying anything? Quality, yeah. Coca-Cola, right here. <laughs> Quality Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's, it's red, just, just like the drink. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Yeah, I would read the script, but all I see is a bit of hair from, I assume, a younger version of Gabe Newell. Well, you know what? Fuck <laughs> me. I don't want to. You, you literally have a cyborg arm. It's just a metal sheet that you just use to fucking yeet someone. Terminator. <laughs> Anyone?